How's camp so far? How does the safety group look to you? Pretty good. I mean, there's been a lot of moving parts, just typical camp stuff. You, you go 11 out of 12, whatever, it's 12 out of 14 day. I mean, just some guys here and there, which is great because you get to move guys around, which is seasoned because safeties play special teams and do everything else. So it's, it's been good. We have more depth, I think, across the board, safety room and other spots that I think we'll have a chance. Like the group, but you know, until we play, we'll see. Who stands out to you from that group? Who's caught your eye? Yeah, I mean, we've moved Dimbo back there, which we all know Dimbo, so I mean, it's silly, but I mean, there's there's guys. I mean, Nicobia, the new Isaiah coming in, I mean, he's been all that we thought when he's, you know, gone. He's, there's through stuff, he'll be fine, but just, um, and then Roderick and Chase are both taking a step up from last year. Um, same with Donald, so you just have depth um, across the board. We move Massey there. Massey, uh, Massey has all the talent in the world, um, you know, once he, learns where he can actually run the show and people trust him, you know, nobody will be able to touch Massey. So there's a lot of moving parts, but a lot of depth and good players. Okay, you mentioned Massey, nobody will be able to touch him. In what way? What does he no, do well that appeals has, to you? Just, it, certain guys just have a certain, I don't even know, moxie might be the right word, but he's physical, he loves to play the game. Um, when he talks, people listen, but you know, it's one of those, before anybody's gonna listen to you command the defense, you gotta be able to command it. And that's, the next step, and it takes time, and he's trying. But once he gets that, when I say nobody will touch him, I mean, the sky's the limit with him. I mean, he's physical, he runs a 10-4, he loves to play the game, he can run. I don't know what he couldn't do once he just knows what he's doing every play to every set. You mentioned Trevor Denbo, who's gone safety to linebacker, back to safety, back to linebacker ever since he's been here. First of all, how hard, was it hard for you to steal him from the linebackers, and is it hard for him to keep making that shift? I, I don't think so. I mean, the good thing is the year we won 10, two years ago, Dimbo was a safety, and then you know we lost Pat Nelson, so we moved Dimbo down. So I, I, good football players are good football players, and you know, Dimbo's smart, and you know, he picks it up quick. And, and you know, like having him back there, you know what you get, you know, the consistency. And that's the biggest deal when you play safety is, you know, there's nobody behind you when you do make a mistake. So you want a guy that you know you can trust when they do throw different sets, formations, plays we haven't seen, you got to follow the rules. And with Dimbo, you know what you're getting back there. So for me, it's, it wasn't a hard move at all. You mentioned that idea, you make a mistake, they're behind you. Is that something that's sort of born in players that you can identify when you recruit, or can you as coaches help develop that? ability to erase and just move on even if they make a mistake? I think you, I think you can find it out. I mean, through just getting to know, that's part of your job recruiting, getting to know the player from his coach and everybody around him. Um, you know, it, and I think, yeah, you can tell, but at the same time, nobody's perfect in recruiting. We've all been wrong. But, you know, we always say recruit tough players who love to play the game, you'll find a spot for them, regardless if they're 6'1 or 5'9. And I think we've done a good job of that for the most part with our roster the last couple of years, just taking some good football players and see where they fit. Um, and I think Demo being a versatile guy that will have a chance at the next level to play versus, you know, a lot of positions, multiple, it's, it's not bad for me. When you look at the secondary as a group, obviously every team loses players every year. You guys lost a veteran corner in Brandon Stevens, who's now with the Ravens. And when you lose some experience at corner, do your safeties now have to help more with receivers? Yeah, I, I would say generally yes. I think just with the new system with Levitt coming, Coach Levitt coming in, that you know, it's, it's a new system for everybody where we all got to learn. And you know, I think just we keep adding depth and talent to the roster. So I think guys fill in. And I mean, obviously, Brandon Stevens is a huge piece to you know, refill, but that's what good teams do, good programs do. They, you know, I don't want to use the whole reload deal, but they find a way to fit somebody in there. And if you're a good program, you should be a good team the next year. And that's what we're hoping to do, if that makes any sense.